Samsung just did something that'll make every Galaxy fan do a double take. After four years of holding back, they're finally pushing the limits again, globally. We're not talking about design, not just cameras, but memory. Yep, finally, 16 GB of RAM is coming to the Galaxy S26 series, and this time it's not just reserved for Korea or China. Everyone's getting it, and you know what that means? No more region envy. Welcome back, viewers, Sam here. If you're into leaks, tech trends, and behind the scenes Samsung drama, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone still stuck on 8 GB RAM. So why now? Why is Samsung finally giving us what we've been asking for since 2021? Well, it turns out pressure from all sides is heating up. Chinese brands like OnePlus and Xiaomi have already made 16 GB a thing. Apple's next iPhones. Leaks say 12 GB. So for Samsung to stay ahead and keep its Galaxy AI dreams alive, this RAM bump isn't just a nice to have, it's a must. Think about it, AI is becoming the brain of our smartphones. That means more local processing, real-time suggestions, smarter multitasking, stuff you don't want lagging. And that kind of power demands more memory. So Samsung is making a statement. If you want serious AI, you need serious RAM. And here's the real kicker. The S26 Ultra won't be the only one with 16 GB. Even the base models are expected to offer it in most global markets. Not just China, not just Korea, but Europe, India, Africa. You name it, it's about time Samsung leveled the playing field. Now let's rewind a bit. Back in 2020, JAWS with 16 GB RAM. The S21 Ultra followed suit, but then everything stalled. S22, S23, S24, all capped at 12 GB. Even the S25 Ultra only had 16 GB in limited regions. It felt like a step backward. But with the S26 series, Samsung is finally undoing that weird phase and not a moment too soon. And hey, this isn't the only bold move Samsung's making. Let's talk chips. Because while the RAM news is exciting, there's another big decision happening behind the scenes. One that could shake the Galaxy S26 lineup to its core. Which chip will power your S26 or Swix 6 thus? Will it be the homegrown Exynos 2600 or Qualcomm Snapdragon A Gen 3 Elite 2? Now this part gets juicy. Samsung has been burned by Exynos before. The Exynos 2500 was supposed to be in the S25, but poor yield rates and performance issues cost them 400 million and forced them back to Qualcomm. Yeah. But the Exynos 2600s, this thing is showing promising signs. Geekbench scores are through the roof, even beating Apple's current A18 Pro chip. We're talking to 400 single core, 10 200 multi core. And it's built on Samsung's shiny new 7 mar GA process. Better efficiency, less heat, more speed. But wait, don't celebrate just yet. There's a catch. Those benchmark scores, they may not reflect real-world performance. We've seen this before. Tune test units running under ideal conditions that don't match everyday use. Plus, the chip design itself is changed. Instead of a crazy 10-core layout, the Exynos 2600 might now be an 8-core design with two Cortex-X cores and fewer mid-tier ones. That could help with battery life but is it enough to compete with Apple's upcoming A19 Pro? That's the real fight. And Samsung's got a deadline. They need to lock in their chip decision by the end of 2025 to launch the Galaxy S26 in early 2026. That gives them just a few months to figure out if Exynos is ready for prime time or if they'll have to play it safe and stick with Qualcomm again. One thing that's already decided, the S26 Ultra will be powered by Snapdragon everywhere. No chip drama there. But for the regular S26 and S26 6 uh, Samsung's still weighing their options. And unless Exynos production hits at least a 60-70% yield rate, the global rollout is a no-go. And here's another reason why this whole situation matters, Samsung's pricing strategy. If they can keep the 16GB model reasonably priced and avoid massive price gaps between 12GB and 16GB, then this upgrade might actually reach the hands of regular users, not just tech geeks and early adopters. Just like with their foldables, remember the Fold 6 SE that quietly launched in China? Thinner, faster, more RAM better camera, and now the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is essentially a global version of that, Samsung seems to be shifting its entire mindset. Instead of locking the best features behind regional walls, they're finally going global with everything. RAM, chips, cameras. That's huge. Bottom line. The Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be more than just an upgrade. It's Samsung correcting its course, responding to fan frustration, and embracing a future where AI is king and specs actually matter again. So if you've been holding back on upgrading, waiting for Samsung to stop playing it safe, this might be the moment you've been waiting for. High RAM, a smarter chip AI, first thinking, and no more second tier versions based on where you live. Now all that's left, Samsung needs to deliver. Let's just hope they don't get cold feet again. 